Hey everyone, I am back with a new video and this is another design for my Queen Couture collection. Let's get started. So before completely diving into the illustration, I first went onto Pinterest to look for inspiration because that's what I always do. Just browsing the internet can help with inspiration as well as references. And like with my previous illustrations, I had followed the theme where the models were lying down on a bed of flowers. And there's only so much that I could think of for poses with a person lying down. So I created a board on Pinterest of fashion photographs with a pose that I thought was cool or different or interesting. And this is what I like about Pinterest because it's practically online archiving of inspirational photos. So you can check out my Pinterest account or you can create your own, which is something I've been doing. After finding a pose that I really liked, I started the sketching process of my illustration. I knew that I wanted a pose similar but different to the reference image, but I couldn't get my head around it. So I resolved to copying the pose the way that I saw it so I could get a decent idea of how it was going to look as a sketch. And once I had understood it, I altered the pose to suit the image that I had in my head. I actually struggled with the pose since initially I thought that the model was lying down, but instead she was actually propped up on one elbow and I had to mimic the pose in order to get a grasp of what she was actually doing in the photo. And this is something that I do whenever I'm drawing a complicated pose, especially something that I've never done before. Like if a reference photo isn't enough, then I would have to pose it myself. And sometimes I'd take a cool selfie of the pose. Other times I'd just note things in my head. And yeah, that's just a tip whenever drawing poses, which I tend to get a lot of questions about. And understandably, it's not the easiest thing to draw because it's anatomy and the body just manages to surprise us in the things it can and can't do. So as much as possible, use a reference to help you draw something you're not yet confident in drawing. Okay, so with the pose finished, I started transferring the design, which you might have seen on the left hand side of the sketchbook. I transferred it onto the model. And to briefly explain the design and how I came up with it, I feel like it's so repetitive because the entire collection is based on a theme. So the theme occurs again and again with each of the designs. It's kind of like, how many times can you modify and alter an armor? Or how many times can you change the armor, drawing aspects from it to create something new? And that's basically one of the ideas behind designing a collection. So this design was definitely derived from an armor since it was one of the earlier designs I came up with for the collection. It's once again a play with femininity and masculinity being this blur. How we have these specific ideas of what's feminine and what's masculine. And I wanted to combine the two to create something slightly ambiguous. So there's the contrast of the structured bodice in the lightness of the skirt. And that was the original idea, but of course that has transformed into something else as I started to add more elements to it drawn from other sources of inspiration. One of the inspirations I used were some of the dresses from the Victorian era with the lace collars and sleeves, and you can see that influence in the design.
Moving on with the coloring, the palette that I chose was kind of like analogous colors where I use colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. For example, with this one I used violet, red, and blue as the main color palette with just hints of gold to complement the dominant color which is violet. At first, I was thinking of a cotton candy color palette for this illustration, which isn't at this point yet, but you will see it later. And yeah, I wanted the pastel color palette because I wanted to emphasize the softness of the skirt, but that didn't really go down so well. What happened off camera was I pretty much took a break from this drawing, which I would advise if you ever come across this kind of situation. Just take a break step back from the illustration and come back to it later when you've cleared your mind. What happened was that I was so determined to use the pastel colors for the skirt that I just didn't know what else to do when I figured out that it didn't work. And this can happen sometimes when you're too biased on an idea you have. You're so sure that it'll work, but when it doesn't, you're stuck because you don't have a backup plan. So by taking the short break, it was beneficial, and I found that the solution was actually super obvious. I just needed to darken the colors. I'd keep the ombre and the gradient, which I really like, but I'd use darker colors. And I love the result of it. That's usually the thing, though, and I've also read about this somewhere, is that whenever we come across some sort of design problem and we're stuck, or we've hit an art block, that's usually when an epiphany happens, and that idea is painfully obvious that you end up thinking yourself stupid for not having thought of it earlier. So just a reminder, even when you've hit an art block, as long as you're determined to complete the design, take a break, clear your head, and get back to it. There's no rush, especially if it's your personal project. Don't rush anything to the point that you stress yourself out. I've been guilty of this, especially with university projects, which isn't very healthy mentally and physically, so take care of yourselves, everyone. Art and design is meant to be fun, not something to pull your hair out. Yeah, so since I was using the analogous color scheme, I repeated that onto the bodice and on the flowers to unify the entire illustration together. I am not completely happy with this illustration, to be honest, since there's something about it that bothers me. It's the fact that she's propped up on one elbow, therefore a shadow would help represent the pose better, but I don't really like to draw shadows for my fashion illustrations, and I haven't done shadows on my previous ones, so I had an internal debate whether or not to add it just for this one or maybe for all of them? Not sure. I'm also unsure about how I colored the white flowers. I wanted them to have a yellow tint, but it looks kind of dirty. I'm not even sure if that's the right word to describe it. Overall though, I love the way I colored the dress, so that's what made me keep this illustration. Otherwise, I probably would have started it again. Like, I am happy with it, but not overly happy with it, if that makes any sense. And so that is it for this illustration. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As for updates, university already started for me and I'm really gonna strive to upload weekly, but I'm afraid that the moment I actually say this, it won't happen. Fingers crossed though. I've got so many videos planned, but it's all just a matter of getting the time to film them. And yeah. I will be leaving it here for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Also check out my social media links in the description box below if you want to see more of my art. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.